What's up? So it's first thing in the morning. I'm super tired. You can kind of hear it in my voice. But as you can tell, I'm not in my normal spot. That's because I'm staying in a hotel to do a wedding this weekend. So since I was about to start up everything, I wanted to give you all an inside look on kind of how I set up and prep for my wedding dates. So let's go ahead and get into all the stuff I prep and how I get it ready. So to start out generally, I set up my bags first. I don't bring that many lenses with me to a wedding, usually just about four. So it's a quick and easy setup. So as you all have seen before, I have my hold fast gear sights here. I wear this on my back. So usually what I keep in here will be my two flashes. So these are the V8 62s and they're the F model because they're for Fujifilm. I'll leave a link to videos where I talk about this up above. And also I have my two mag spheres that fit right under them as well. So I have modifiers and flash, and then there's still a spot where I can add more in there as well. So in my center spot is where I put my long lens because generally I'm not using my tele lenses at all. So my 56 1.2 will go in there. And then the other thing I'll put in the bag in this little section here will be my batteries. So I charged all my batteries last night Generally at a wedding, I bring just four batteries. So that's enough to replace the grip. So my camera will have the battery grip on it, which gives my whole camera three batteries, the internal battery and the two in the grip. And then once I get to reception time, I just flip out the grip, switch them with those, and I'm good for the rest of the night. So the batteries also go in this bag. And basically the reason I love this so much is that it just makes everything easily accessible. It's right on my back. I can reach in and just grab this stuff right behind me. I have everything I need. Another big thing when I'm prepping is I always take off the lens caps. I leave the bottom ones on because I don't want anything to get in there and mess up the photos, but the tops I leave off because I want to be able to get quick and easy lens switches. So that's my bag that I wear on my back. Pretty straightforward. After that, we have my small pouch, which I usually wear on my hold fast. You've seen that strap before in my different wedding day videos. Again, I'll link up above where I talk a little bit about it. And I haven't actually done a video yet on the hold fast. So if y'all want to see that, let me know in the comments below. But basically, I usually put my widest lens inside the pouch. Right now, I'm using that for this video, but that's the 16 2.8. So I'll have that right here so that when I need to go wide, I can just quickly pull it out, swap it with my wide camera, and then put the 20 degree back in here. And that's basically everything I do for setting up my bags. Now this time I do have an extra bag, and that's mainly because the church we're going to is a little restrictive, so I brought an extra lens with me. So let me go grab that real quick. So the whole fast Romographer is what I use to travel with. So this is what I have all my cameras in, but I'm gonna bring it along with me because I'm gonna have the 90 on me as well because the church is a little restrictive. So if they make me stand in the back, I'll need a longer lens. So the 90 is gonna be here on the side, but I'm probably not gonna use it. The 56 should be more than enough. Now that we've talked about the bags, let's talk about the cameras. So today I'm gonna be using the X-T3s and not the X-T4. I have it as backup for my video. That's actually what I'm recording this on. So I have my two XC3s all ready to go. I charged them last night, charged the grip, charged the internal battery, very straightforward, and charged the additional batteries for the grip. Next off, what I generally do is go in and start prepping my SD cards. So I always have four on me. They're 128 gig cards. They're all the same between both cameras. That's so I can shoot and back up rather than sequential. So let's pop these in there real quick. Awesome. So now that I have my cards in there, what I'll generally do is check what's on them <clears throat> and just make sure that I've already loaded this stuff into my computer. So this is all good to go. And now we are going to format each card.
After I formatted all my cards, I go in and check the save data setup. That's probably the most important one you're gonna wanna check. So I go into my menus, go to the gear, go to save data setup, and make sure it's set to backup so that I know that I'm shooting on both cards and I have a backup. I'll also make sure that it's set to raw, which normally it is. Just make sure everything is correct and fine and usually that's not too hard to do. Also, if you're curious about how to set up your camera, I have a video about that as well. I'll link that up above, but check that out and then listen to what I'm talking about now and you'll get a better idea of what I'm doing. So this camera is set up. I'll throw a lens on it. So I have the 35 here. So this will be my tele camera. Now, what I mean by that is that basically this camera is only ever going to have tele lenses on it. This will be the camera on my left side. That's where I like to have all my long lenses. So pop this on there and it's set to go. When I put my hold fast on, I'm gonna connect it onto the left side. And now I know this is my tele camera. Then I repeat the process with my other camera as well. Here are my other SD cards. So we check what's on them. All this stuff is good and already loaded in. Format the camera. Awesome. So card one, card two is formatted. Then we'll go back into the menu, go to the gear, save data setup, and also set it to backup. It was set to sequential. Make sure I'm set to shooting in raw. And after that, I'm pretty much good to go. So since the other camera was my tele camera, now this one will be my wide camera. So here's my 23 F2. Go ahead and pop that on here. And this will be the camera on my right side. So like I was talking about earlier with the 16 up here, so I'll swap the 16 with my right side camera because this is my wide camera. So after I've done that, I'm pretty much all set up for the day. Then the biggest thing is to make sure I go eat with a long wedding day, which this is a nine hour day, which is very surprising during the pandemic, but it's a smaller wedding, just a longer day. So first thing I do is go find some food, which is what I'm actually gonna do after I'm done filming this video. But I eat a pretty heavy breakfast to make sure I can last most of the wedding day because there's usually not a time to stop or eat a snack or anything. So basically I eat heavy in the morning so that I can make it to reception time and then have the vendor meal at that point. And that's a huge tip for you all. Bringing snacks and stuff helps, but I found, especially if you're shooting by yourself, sometimes there's just not time to eat a snack or it just looks unprofessional. Like you take the two seconds to eat a snack and a guest sees you over there like, <laughs> you know, like it's just, it's not a good look. So usually I eat heavy and then just kind of make it throughout the day, kind of fast through the day, I guess. And then I eat at the reception time. So I hope you all like this kind of candid video showing my setup and everything. Yet again, links in the descriptions to all the videos that will help you with setting up your camera. And if you have any questions for me, leave them here on Patreon or in the comments below. I'm always happy to help and answer more questions for you all. Thanks again for hanging out and I'll be with y'all next time. All right. Peace.